Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is finally the day, I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you around Melbourne about kind of more like my favorite things, some of my favorite things. I can't put them all into one video, so I'm gonna just take you on like a normal nice day of things that I like to do around Melbourne um, and show you a few of the things that I miss the most from being away from home. Um, the weather is fantastic today, which is my main reason why I finally had the opportunity to do this. It has been pretty cold um, out in Melbourne whilst I've been back, but today is beautiful weather, so I'm super excited. I'll take you guys around and show you some of my favorite things to, places to go, things to do, things to eat. Um, but disclaimer, I can't cover it all in one video, so I'm just gonna do a few things. Um, so just to give you an insight into my life here. Um, so before we start, please like and subscribe this video um, and press the bell notification so you get the notification every time I post. All right, let's go. Because the weather is so nice, there's just no way I cannot go for a walk or a run. So I'm gonna go for a walk or a run. Um, probably like a walk and then a run back because I'm just like, I don't know, I've been feeling slightly lazy recently. Um, so let's go to the great outdoors. Um, so I'm really blessed and in Melbourne I live really close to the beach so I can just walk out and that's the beach. How stunning is that? This is like one of the biggest things I miss about being home. Um, just like a beautiful sunny day, so nothing beats it. Walking by the beach and the sky. Just the air is so fresh. I love it. Um, yeah, so something huge that I do miss about not being in Melbourne is the quality of the air. Like if you live in Myanmar, the air quality is quite polluted so it's really nice to be in a clean fresh air city um, and see blue skies that are not hazy but um, I mean it's the small things like that that you kind of miss from being home. Mon. Hi. Hi. Um, and obviously I've done my hair and I'm looking on Felique. Um, so we're gonna <laughs> head to we're heading now to one of our favorite locations, which is the South Melbourne Market, um, which is super close to my house. Um, so I'm very blessed and I've always been going there, but it's become very on trend recently. Um, and everyone just like wants to go there, so we're heading there now. Drive, okay, James. That's right, that's right. right. Um, yeah. So we're heading there now for a nom nom nom. So today, where are we going? We're heading to South Melbourne Market, so we're in South Melbourne now. Um, but the market's only open on a Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but it's really good and it's got lots of good local produce. which is this restaurant. <laughs> I was like, it's, it's, Turkish, it's, Turkish. it's like, it's Turkish, sorry. But they sell gosmes, which are like the best thing, and they sell like one of the best gosmes in Melbourne. So if you're ever in um, South Melbourne Market, come to get the gosme at South Melbourne, at Koi, it's all good. Yum. Yes, thank you. Okay, guys, let's go. Ooh, how is it, Mon? Oh my god, so good. So this is the South Melbourne Market Dim Sim, which is very well known and everyone lines up for ages for it. So usually I would never get a, like a Dim Sim because it's, I think it's a little bit overrated and I actually like to get the one on the inside because the people are a bit nicer, but this is a South Melbourne Market Dim Sim. If you come, lots of people will be buying it, so you probably will feel convinced to buy it as well. I don't think it's like super, super good, but it's probably like fun to eat and try. So, if you want to get around it, get around it. <laughs> Not an ad. <laughs> Fresh fish, which is something I find. 
find it really hard to get in here. Now. So if you want the good dim sims and from the nice people, come to this place. It's called a Mama Tram Dumpling. And it's inside the jelly. The thing that I miss the most about being in Myanmar, well actually the thing I miss the most about being in Berlin when I'm in Myanmar, is fresh produce. Um, yeah, I just like the few markets in Myanmar where you can get this. I know that it's like the local wet markets, but it's just not the same. Yeah, I'm fine. Been trying to get all of you all night. We haven't talked in months, but that's alright. Was wondering if you wanted to go for a drive. I just need oh some God, fresh air. Okay, I'm an old friend. I'm so good that we started talking again. I'll turn up the radio. I love this song. Remember when we used to stay up all night long? All right, so we're back in the car um, and we are done with South Melbourne Market, which is an absolute gem and you should definitely visit. Um, my favorite uh, the Goes in the May store that I showed you is really good and you will not be disappointed. Um, the Jim Sim store, as I said, the one on the inside is a lot better than the outside and the people are a lot nicer than the one on the inside, but everybody always lines up for the one on the outside, which is the South Melbourne Jim Sim one, but she's been the page. Mama Trans Dumplings? Yeah, the other one's Mama Trans Dumplings and I feel like they're just a lot nicer and they have better dim sims i wouldn't say like um, unpopular opinion the paella is overrated oh yeah if you are there and you see the paella don't get sucked in because they give you like really little toppings and it's all just rice and they yeah it's just not that great um but the deli is awesome they have really good fresh produce um and also the like grocery stores have pretty good deals best time to go to the market if you want a good deal on groceries is at like 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. on a Sunday when it's just about to close because it's like the last day. They try to get rid of all their stuff and they sell everything else. Um, but that's just a little hack. But I hope you guys enjoyed South Melbourne Market. Um, we're going to go ahead now to get our favourite frozen yoghurt um, which is like literally one of my favourite things in Melbourne. Um, but it's Yoshi so let's go to Yoshi. Beside you, staring out the window, looking at the sum of you. Fine by you, I'll be next to you. If it's fine by you, I'll be beside you. Speeding down the highway with the wind blowing through. Everything around us feeling minuscule. If it's fine by you, I'll take, 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 take the best of I always get the same thing whenever I eat you. I'll describe that later, that's fine. I'll mute myself. just generally in Australia um, but it's fantastic definitely definitely come if you're around I'll show you the food shortly but this is just a quick add on because I just cannot come to Melbourne and do a vlog and not show you it this is also our first meal together as a family since coronavirus so we're out 
So we're about to eat now and the food is so good. What you should get is lamb cutlets, they're amazing. Um, and to get the mixed grill to get like the beef and the chicken and then the tabbouleh is just like to die for. A very satisfied customer. <laughs> But yes, Tibbers, hit it up, guys. Are we alone again? Just you and I On another one of our famous midnight drives Do you need to rant or just stay silent? Either or, you know I'm complying Take a left up ahead, we're going towards the horizon Don't stop going till we see the sun rising, you know Okay, so I'm just out here watching the sunset, um, which is really beautiful, and I try and catch it as much as I can when I'm home by the beach, because um, when the sky is perfect and the weather's good, it's beautiful. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I hope you guys got a good insight of like what I do when I'm home or my favorite places to go. And if you ever come to Melbourne, then you go to those places as well. Um, but that's a wrap on today's video, and I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!